previously on Crown. I am Princess Eleanor of Christendale. Oh, but you can call me Ellie. I'm Miles, seller of houses. The Book of Knowledge will help you and bring you great blessings. Goodbye, King Miles. I am not. <laughs> uh, uh. <sighs> If the Queen has captured Father and Alice, I feel certain they're locked in the dungeon of the castle. Will you help me? Under two conditions. Anything. Your father agrees to pay me for helping you when we find him. And what's the other condition? <laughs> that we get out of this creepy forest stat. Don't take this the wrong way, but do you know where you're going? How dare he imply that I don't know what I'm doing? Is there any way you could help me get out of here? Finally, we made it! Princess Eleanor, you finally returned. <laughs> Guards are everywhere! There has to be some, like, secret entrance we can get into, right? We'll get caught. The entire castle is on serious lockdown. <sighs> How are we ever going to get in there and get my jewels? And rescue my family so we can restore the kingdom from the rule of the evil queen. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> you don't get those jewels until you help me with the rescue. That was our deal, remember? <gasps> well, yeah, I just thought I'd at least, like, take a peek while we're there. So, uh, what's the plan if we do actually make it inside? Go straight to the dungeon and rescue Father and Alice, of course! But have you thought about how we'll get past the evil queen to do that? Oh. Um... <sighs> Whoa! Miles! What stop! Devs! Why did you do that? Those are slumber berries! They're dangerous! <laughs> slumber berries? What do they do, make you a little sleepy? Worse, just one berry puts you to sleep for 35 whole days. 35 days? I can't be gone from the real estate office that long. My sales will completely tank. <gasps> Wait, I've got more berries. Well, get rid of them. No, Ellie, it's the perfect plan. When we get into the castle, we can put a few into the queen's goblet. If she's asleep, she can't stop us from rescuing your family and taking back the throne for your dad. I don't know, Miles. Something about that just feels a little... Brilliant. Thanks. N no, it just doesn't feel right to me. What are you talking about? She's an evil queen who locked your family in a dungeon. She deserves a few slumber berries. Oh, I really don't want to stoop to the level of doing something so bad to someone else. Evil queen or not. Well, do you have a better idea then? Well, not yet, but I'll think of something. These berries are definitely the best way to get your family and my jewels. Let's just focus on getting inside first. Then we can go from there. How about we split up and see if we can find anything that will help us? All right, fine. Watch it. Oh. All right. I will go this way and you go that way. Got it. Um, why are you dressed like a weird forest rainbow monster? It's a jester costume. Okay, why are you dressed like a jester? Because it's how we're going to sneak past the palace guards. <laughs> yeah, I'm not wearing that. Hats do a real number on my hair. Oh, quit worrying about your hair. It's our only option. Maybe it's not our only option. I found this thing. How is a dragon's tooth supposed to help? 
a dragon suit. That's so cool. They're everywhere, Miles. Who cares? Well, um, we could use it to uh, to pick a lock or something, right? Well, it doesn't matter if we can pick locks if every entrance is monitored by guards. <sighs> These costumes are the only way we can sneak past them. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Good. This is definitely going to work. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Not at all. <sighs> Can you get out? No, this rope isn't budging. Mine either. <gasps> you know, with a few simple renovations, this dungeon could be a usable living space. Focus, Miles. We have to get out of here. I know, but how? We're at the mercy of the queen and her guards now. Oh, there has to be a way. <gasps> Pull. <gasps> Everybody get on your feet. It's time to play Match the Moves. Watch the corners light up and be ready to repeat the pattern you see. Each round will add to the pattern and speed it up. Let's practice our moves. Ride, fly, fire, bow. Now you're ready. Round one, watch the pattern closely. Fire, bow, fly. Let's see your moves. Fire. Bow. Fly. Great job. It's time for round two. Watch carefully. Fire. Bow. Fly. Ride. Bow. Let's see your moves. Fire. Bow. Fly. Ride. Bow! Last round! It's getting faster now! Watch carefully! Fire! Bow! Fly! Ride! Bow! Ride! Fire! Fly! Let's see your moves! Fire! Bow! Fly! Ride! Bow! Ride! Fire! Fly! You did it! Everybody stay on your feet. It's time to sing! Show your love I'm loved by you Purify my heart In all I do I will love my friends And my enemies You died for me Now I believe We're blessed and all Sons and daughters of the King will mourn your 
singing. You can take a seat. <sighs> Do you happen to have anything in your bag that will help us get out of here? My, my bag! It's missing! No, oh, it's not. Oh, Father will be so very disappointed with me. No, Ellie, it's Oh, right his over. one instruction to me was to not let the Book of Knowledge out of my sight, and now I have! Uh... Ellie! <laughs> yes? It's hanging over there. W where? To the right. Um, that's a, a wall. Oh, wait. Well, no, to uh, your left, then. Oh, oh, I see it. Okay, we must get to it at once. It will have the wisdom we need to get out of this predicament. All right. But uh, how do we get there? Mm. Oh, let's try to scoop over. Ooh. On my count, we'll go. Okay. Three, two, one. No! Whoa! What are you doing? Going on what? No. Go on go. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. When I say go. Got it. <clears throat> three, two, one, and go, oh, Miles! Why didn't you say go after one? Okay, look. I'm going to say three, two, one, and go. Okay. Okay. All right. Third time's a charm. <sighs> three, two, one, and go! Uh. You're doing your turn. You're going too fast. No, this is the correct no, way. No, go. The, I have longer arms. Go the other way. Turn. Uh. Uh. I was always first place in Mario Kart. I can get there. Miles. You know, this reminds me of one time that my sister and I were in the garden and I couldn't reach the rose, but she could reach the rose. And she wouldn't get it for me. I said, Father, please help me get the rose. And he did. And there. Oh, we can't reach. Oh, uh, now what? I'm never going to get back home. I'm never going to get paid with jewels for helping you. I'm tired. I'm hungry. And this is how it all ends. In a dungeon. Oh, we'll get out. We just have to think. <gasps> Miles! Your dragon tooth! <gasps> oh, we can use that and cut through the rope. Do you have it with you? Yes. I knew it'd come in handy. Oh, I can't do this big shit. Oh, almost there. Oh, <gasps> got it. <laughs> <clears throat> Going. Fine. Uh, I'm working as fast as I can. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, um, thank you, <laughs> Miles. <laughs> um, any uh, updates for me? Not since the last time you asked. Give me a second. Okay. A warning would have been nice. I could have dropped it. Oh, my. I'm sorry, Miles. It's just so very dusty in here. You know, this creepy dungeon was always forbidden. I've never even been down here before. <gasps> Got it! <gasps> Poor Father and Alice. They've been trapped here for much longer. We must find them. Well, didn't you say you thought they'd be in here? Well, I thought they'd be here, but... Oh, she must have them trapped somewhere else in the castle. But where? I don't know. You're the one who grew up here. Surely there are some hidden rooms throughout the castle, right? Well, not that I know of. Maybe the queen has them in the servants' quarters. Or the jewels closet. Or the garden shed. Or, or the stables. Or... Oh, well, they could really be anywhere. We must start looking. Yes, and we should check the jewels closet first. <laughs> but wait, we're not exactly incognito right now. We need to take care of our slumberberry plan before we do anything else. I didn't agree to that, Miles. Well, it's the fastest way to get to your family. That's what you want, right? Well, yes, but It's I settled then. Time for a nap, evil queen. Um, Miles, wait! We forgot about the book.
book of knowledge. Maybe it has a map of hidden rooms in it. You know, like it did for the portals. We should check it. All right, if you say so. In the book of Matthew, Jesus teaches about God's kingdom and the great blessings that come when people have the right attitudes. Throughout the Bible, there are stories of kings, queens, and everyday people who had those attitudes and others who did not. King Belshazzar was the evil king of Babylon and loved to throw crazy parties for all of the people in his kingdom. At one party, he ordered his servants to bring in special gold cups. Now, these weren't any ordinary gold cups. These belonged to God's temple in Jerusalem. He wasn't supposed to use them, but he didn't care and chose to do the wrong thing. As he was sipping from his fancy gold cup, a giant hand suddenly appeared and started writing on the wall. King Belshazzar couldn't believe his eyes. Everyone at the party saw the writing and grew very, very quiet, and King Belshazzar grew very afraid. The king needed to figure out what these words meant. He called for advisors to come to him and read the writing on the wall. To sweeten the deal, he said that the person who could read this mysterious message would be rewarded with all kinds of riches. They would receive purple clothes, fancy gold chains, and power over the kingdom. But of all the people who came, there wasn't one who could tell him what it said. The queen, however, knew of someone who could read it. She told King Belshazzar all about a guy named Daniel who could interpret dreams, explain riddles, and solve difficult problems. Daniel came and, of course, understood the words right away. He knew the message was not going to please the king, but he wanted to do the right thing. He told the king, this is what it means. God has tested you and you did not pass. Your time as king is over and your kingdom will be divided. This was bad news for King Belshazzar, but he kept his promise to Daniel. He put a gold chain around his neck, a purple robe on his back, and made him the third most powerful man in all of Babylon. That very night, King Belshazzar died. It must have been hard to stand up to a king and tell him bad news, but Daniel did the right thing and God blessed him. When we choose to do what is right, no matter how tough it might be, God will bless us too. Oh no. We really can't go through with your berry plan. It just feels too wrong. Yeah, I agree. We need to try to do what's right because it honors God. And that's the most important thing. And we can trust that God's going to bless us when we do. So, no berries for the queen. I guess you were right about it the whole time. Why, thank you, Miles. <laughs> okay, we need a plan for how to search the castle without being caught again. Yeah. Uh, 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 jump! Oh, oops. Uh, you know, it is dusty in here. Uh -huh. uh. Just make sure that you don't wipe uh. your nose with the berry juice. Huh? Oh. Um, Ellie, the room appears to be spinning. Uh, <laughs> it's not the room, it's the berry juice you wiped on your nose. I'm gonna go to sleep for 35 days now? <gasps> oh, warp speed roller coaster! <laughs> oh no, you just got a, a little on your nose, so it should wear off quickly. Here, let's sit you down. <clears throat> There's a heated indoor pool to your left, a state-of-the-art moat, a home theater, and some lovely furry turkey. Miles, <laughs> uh, Miles, uh, are you okay? A fire-breathing unicorn. Night-night, oh. mommy. Oh, don't let me go. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to search the castle myself. <laughs> oh. I've looked. Everywhere. Jake, that's Sir Dragon Esquire the Fifth Junior! Whoa! Who's that? What's going on? Miles! Oh. Uh. Where do they go? Get to the guard post! We must leave the castle at once! But what about? Hurry! Oh. Oh. 
I've got the worst headache. Those slumber berries are no joke. Well, thankfully, we did the right thing and chose not to poison the queen with them. I know. I would have felt really bad after seeing how awful they are. But, um, Ellie, what about your father and sister? I looked everywhere for them, and they weren't in the castle. Did you happen to spot any jewels during your search? No, they're gone too. Well, that's just great. Well, come on, we need to get back into the forest. Why? Because she's got eyes everywhere. I don't get it. In that story from the Book of Knowledge, Daniel got a gold chain, a purple robe, and became the third most powerful man in Babylon when he did the right thing. Yeah? But when we did the right thing, we ended up with no progress on defeating the queen, didn't find your family or the jewels, and now we're going back into the creepy forest. Oh, chin up, Miles. We must remember that doing the right thing leads to blessing, even if we don't see it right away. Are you sure? I'm sure. We're going to find them soon. I just know it! <sighs> I'm blessed when I want to do what's right. Let's play Spot the Dragon to review all that God has taught us today. See if you can spot him in the picture to reveal a question. Here we go, find the dragon. You found him. Here's your first question. Did Ellie and Miles go through with their plan to poison the evil queen, yes or no? No! After hearing the Bible story about Daniel, they wanted to do the right thing. See if you can spot that sneaky dragon again. Splendid job! Here's your next question. In today's Bible story, what happened to Daniel after he did the right thing? Was he sleepy or blessed? Daniel was blessed by God in many ways. Try to find the dragon one last time. You found him! Here's your last question. True or false? It's always easy to do the right thing. False! It's not always easy, but the Bible says we will be blessed when we want to do what's right. Great job playing our game! Everybody, bow your head and close your eyes. It's time to pray. Hey God, thank you for giving us your word so we know what's right. When we are tempted to do wrong things, please give us the desire to do what's right instead. We love you. Amen.